Thank you so much to everybody who is supporting me on Patreon. Your generosity and support is greatly appreciated. I love you all so much. If you like what I do and want to support me in a more personal way, then consider joining my Patreon page today. There will be a link at the top of the description. Hello and welcome back to the Triton LEGO Railway Layout. This is segment number 9. Technically number 9, it is an expansion of the bridge. Segment number 3 was the original bridge itself. But I had some more blue base plates I had just laying around. I bought those as part of a kind of package of the base plates. And they would otherwise go unused. So I thought, you know what, let's extend the bridge because why not? And ultimately, I think I've done a pretty good job. There's still a fair whack that can be done, but for now I'm calling this finished. I'm having to record this in quite a weird position. I'm still surrounded with bricks. And I'm still plowing on with my layout, so recording this video is going to be a bit awkward, but I can still show you basically all you need to know for this segment in particular. If you want to have a look at what the bridge looked like previously, have a look at segment number three. I will leave a link to that in the description. So one thing that's happened was the greenery on the end of the green base plates has been extended outwards. So what you're seeing here has now been put onto the blue base plates. Previously, if you are a member of my Patreon, first of all, thank you so much. Secondly, you would have seen the work in progress pictures where the boob, uh, the, bl the blue base plate, there we go, came up to about here. It's kind of weird, kind of looking back at it now, and this looks so much better. And of course, I got loads of plant species to add to this, but that's something I will do just kind of in some downtime, like eventually when I get the layout finished. Previously, the bridge had this sort of brown wall going across it. It was a small bridge, so it kind of got away with that. However, this is much longer, much larger scale overall, and something bigger was needed. So there is a LEGO City set. It's like a suspension bridge lorry set. It's in the construction line. I don't know what it's called officially. But there are these large kind of frame looking Technic pieces, and these are really cool. Now, I've seen people build bridges where these sort of details are brick built. Nothing against them at all. But I could never bring myself to have the kind of patience or the skill to build something like that. Lucky me, I was able to have all the pieces available. There are eight pieces being used. Again, on my Patreon with the work in progress behind the scenes pictures. I showed a difference, or rather I showed a few different versions of how these pieces were positioned. They were much wider apart from each other. It was very weird to kind of get this to work. But ultimately, the way it looks now, I think it's pretty good. One thing I was thinking about trying was a bracing detail. Now the brick between these Technic pieces here is an actual brick. There are studs on top. So in the future, I might add a bracing piece. You know, there's a few bricks taller, just something to go overhead the tracks and just connect both sides of these bridge pieces together. I didn't do so originally because it wasn't something I thought about doing. I thought this design alone looked all right. I don't build bridges, so it's not going to be 100% accurate. I know somebody's going to ask about that in the comments section. I am not going to go out of my way to make Bricklink orders for this. If I have the parts, cool. If I don't, oh well. It's probably going to be in a different colour as well. But it was something that is more viable now than it was previously. I tried with the Technic pieces. It just turned out to be a bit finicky. And ultimately, it was just a bit too low. So one day in the future, I might come back to this because the layout is never truly finished. More water details because of course there is. Now it's not officially done as you can see there's still plenty of gaps and loads of exposed studs. And on the other side it is completely empty. But if I waited until all this was done to call it officially complete it would be I don't know how long in the future. I'll make orders on Bricklink for other projects anyways. And if I remember to buy some of these tiny pieces then that would be fine. But, you know, every now and then I'll just add some more to this. It's not something that's overly concerning. The main structure itself has been completed, and that is the focus. There we go. That is segment number nine finished. It is an expansion of segment number three. The bridge looks really good now. I am so happy with how this looks. I looked at the video of the original bridge segment itself. Oh my god, just seeing the two next to each other. When you see before and after of... An item that's modified it's so remarkable to see how much further you've come it's just amazing 
Thank you everyone so much for watching and thank you to everybody who is supporting me on Patreon. Your generosity and support is so greatly appreciated. I love you all so much for joining me on Patreon. It's truly just remarkable. Make sure you are getting your submissions in for the Triton Lego Railway Community Challenge. Make sure you follow the link at the top of the description for Patreon and Discord. All the details are shown in the appropriate locations. Thanks again so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.